excitement earlier this morning. Um, I didn't read an excerpt out of the shot in the arm. So, it's going to be a short video, mainly just having um, the excerpt in it. So, we are, okay, we went to a very good place to start. So, right now, we're at um, Numbers Game. Remember, shot in the arm by Sharon Lee Raguzzi. I own nothing in this. Okay. Numbers game. I never would have considered myself a numbers person. If someone starts a conversation about the stock market or finance, I do now. Numbers, I would say, don't interest me. If there was a child when someone asked me how old I was, I would say nine and a half. Or it sound really cool when a few months slipped by, and I could probably say nine and three quarters. Or how was the day after you turned 12 when you could sit when you could say, I've just started my 13th year. I stopped this nasty habit many moons ago, well at least 20 and a half years ago. If asked, I would have denied I was a numbers person. But then again, when asked how much did you lose so far, you would hear me say 13 and a half pounds, but I still have thir 36 and, and a half more to go. This clearly was before we learned about positive self-talk. <laughs> Let's stay with the numbers theme for a minute. My knee-jerk reaction is to say I have no interest in the stock market because I really don't like to gamble. The thought of losing something I work so hard for would make me say without hesitation, no thank you, if someone asked me to invest in a sure thing. And yet, I have been a gambler. For years, I would gamble every weekend, not in Atlantic City, but at restaurants, at the family dinner table, even in the car. I would gamble away a week of hard work, saving for my dream, weight goal. And then I would go to my meeting, weigh in, and say in an incredulous tone, only a half? I also gambled as if it were, as if I were at the track. I might win by a mere hair, a smidgen of a weight loss. I wasn't happy, but I wasn't upset enough to change my odds. That is, until a leader once said to me, as I got off the scale three quarters and a three quarters of a pound lighter, if you lost this weight without really trying, can you imagine what you could accomplish if you really put your mind to it? What a wake-up call. Someone once asked me how could she get the discipline necessary to do this. I think it's a little like the chicken and the egg dilemma. Do you need to want it so much that you are able to focus on your winning outcome and the discipline will follow, or vice versa? When you're saving for a new car, do you call it discipline when you put money aside for the convertible? When you're saving for a trip to the Caribbean, do you call it discipline as you put money aside for the beachfront villa? Are you half-hearted about saving for these things? No, because they're things you want. Remember, can you imagine what you could accomplish if you really put your mind to it? Anyone interested in taking on that challenge? That was it. Um, hope that was um, what you were hoping for today. Um, I finished drinking my water, ate breakfast, and I had Rice Krispies um, cereal with no sugar and skim milk, a glass of skim milk, a glass of ice water, um, uh, a little bit, maybe a cup, not even a cup of yogurt, it might have been a half a cup if that, of uh, yogurt. It was like plain yogurt with a little pieces of strawberry in it. Um, like they cut up the strawberry and put it in the yogurt. They didn't. It wasn't bought like that. Um, and some grapes. So that was my breakfast. Feeling good if I get hungry. I was eating an orange or an apple or a banana or something. Or carrot. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I remember the wise words of Sharon Lee Rigutsi. Amazing words really help. I want to <laughs> give a shout out to uh, Fat Man Getting Skinny for my shout out, or for shouting, uh, giving me a shout out yesterday. It was awesome. It really kind of made my day. And I took the stairs. Yeah, I took them down and up this morning. So, oh, and back down when I went down for breakfast. I took the stairs back down then too. So, yeah, I didn't take them back up because. Just because.
Um, I might, I'll probably take them down again when I go to, um, sorry, there's people on TV doing weird stuff. Um, yeah, I'll probably take the stairs back down again when I go to go to class, but, and on my way back, or on, when I come back from class, I'll probably take the stairs back up again, so, and I'll have my book bag on, so I'll add a little weight. Give me a good workout, um, my neck is still sore, but it's all good. So, yeah, um, hope that story was uh, nice and inspiring, and I want to show you this grape. Okay, you see this grape? This is slightly larger than normal at the cafeteria. Well, no, it's not larger than normal, it's just oddly shaped, if you can see the shape of it. But this is about the regular size, not shape, but size. Look at this one. It looks like a pumpkin, like a small, small, small pumpkin. And it has the same shape to it as this does. Yeah, I'm going to eat it now. Um, but yeah, so, keep up the good work, and um, don't gamble away what you work so hard for.